How's it going? This is my first um, post about my, my Australian composition, so that's very exciting. I'm actually currently uh, at the end of Canoon Road on a little little bush walk, I suppose, a walking track. Uh, and it's the last day of the, of the school term, so it's Friday the 3rd of July, and we're all celebrating that as the holidays. And I decided to use this bit of time to get started with a composition. So um, my comp has taken quite a big turn. I was thinking of doing it. Um, it's still it's still about Australian landscape and about kind of. It was inspired by the fires. I did a lot of research and you know experienced a lot over the summer with the whole bushfires. But now I've actually narrowed it down to the idea of a gum tree or a eucalyptus tree what inspired me was just last week i was uh, out on a little walk uh, from north epping to taramurra uh, and on that walk um, it was the first time that i really smelt the eucalyptus leaves in the forest or in the in the bushwalk um, and that was very special to me and so since then there's been just this thought of how the gum tree or the eucalyptus tree is such a big part of Australian culture and landscape. So, you know, the song Waltzing Matilda talks about uh, the guy, the swagman sitting under the Coolabar tree. Um, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Uh, the gum tree is just such a big part of Australian music. And um, one of the things um, that really um, resonated with me was um, over the summer when um, I met this guy called Andrew Flaxman, and he's the, the guy who uh, actually fled. Um, uh, he, it's, there's a sad story where his trailer, uh, his caravan, uh, his, his truck, they all burnt down uh, from the fire, and he had to flee on a boat. And um, when he got to Conjola, that's where we met him. And uh, he tells a, a pretty funny story. He's a humorous guy uh, about how, yeah, uh, eucalyptus trees, gum trees are just they're horrible in that they they fuel the fire and and it's pretty true um they're pretty flammable plants and how it's it's part of that that bush fiery kind of australian landscape as well so anyway um i've kind of changed my tune a bit so that it's talking from the perspective of a gum tree um what they see as a as a i i suppose as an observer uh, and so my first verse talks about how a gum tree sees all the fun that campers have and uh, tourists and holiday makers have over this, this holiday season. We often, you know, um, pack our bags, drive over to uh, somewhere, you know, out, outside of a town and, um, and we go fishing and boating and, and do whatever. And somehow the, the eucalyptus tree is always there to see all those, all the fun that we're having. So that's what my verse first verse currently is about and from there I'm planning my story to progress through things like the fires and how the in a certain season of a eucalyptus tree's life they will see uh, fires and how that ravishes the land um, possibly we might have a verse about things like koalas and eucalyptus trees uh, you know the, uh, and Australian wildlife and all that, perhaps the birds, um, and but really, uh, I think the the point of my song, the big point of it, is this idea where the eucalyptus tree kind of stands resilient, and you know, every season um, the world really chucks a different curveball at them, but they're very resilient plants, and trying to use that imagery in the song. Um, yeah, and I, I suppose that's where that's the direction of my comp now, and so I'm pretty excited about that. I uh, thought I'd like to let you guys know, and um, yeah, hopefully the song will be done in the next few days. I'm planning to churn out lots of uh, practice composing by writing lots of music, and not being too critical of my work, so that I just get get them get them happening and and get the get the pen flowing and the ball rolling. So. Uh, I'm going to sign out from there, but um, look forward to giving you guys future updates on that.